Just within the past half hour, though, the Department of Justice sent a letter to Chairman Gerald Nadler of the House Judiciary Committee where it threatens executive privilege, quoting from the letter. In the face of the committee's threatened contempt vote, the attorney general will be compelled to request that the president invoke executive privilege with respect to the materials subject to the subpoena. The letter goes on to say this request is not itself an assertion of executive privilege. If the committee decides to proceed in spite of this request, however, the attorney general will advise the president to make a protective assertion of executive privilege. This all stems from events this morning and later this afternoon. A frustrated House Judiciary Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler did not respond today to reporters to whether his committee will vote tomorrow to hold Attorney General William Barr in contempt of Congress. Democrats are intent on punishing the administration for what they believe is its stonewalling of the House's Russia collusion investigation. It is a sweeping categorical defiance of the will of Congress, and that just can't stand. Today, the White House let pass Nadler's deadline to produce internal White House documents about the Russia investigation. House Democrats believe that former White House counsel Don McGahn lost all rights to executive privilege when he freely spoke to Mueller's investigators. The administration disagrees. In a letter to Nadler earlier today, the White House counsel Pat Cipollone contends that the correspondence Democrats seek, quote, remain legally protected from disclosure under long-standing constitutional principles, and that McGahn has no legal right to the papers which are the sole possession of the White House. McGahn's personal lawyer also wrote the committee, quoting, where co-equal branches of government are making contradictory demands on Mr. McGahn concerning the same set of documents, the appropriate response for Mr. McGahn is to maintain the status quo. And in his strongest statement yet about the Russia investigation, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell today invoked the first stage of grief, denial, to describe the Democrats' attempts to keep the collusion narrative alive. The special counsel's finding is clear. Case closed. Case closed. And the majority leader wants to say case closed. I don't blame him. 375 former federal prosecutors looked at the Mueller report and said publicly that the conduct of the president amounts to felony obstruction of justice. And amidst that conflict, a dozen Republican senators came to the White House to wade into another intractable problem. The White House is offering a new immigration proposal that would modernize ports of entry by scanning everything and everyone who passes through them. And a second proposal would emphasize merit-based immigration. And in a sign that neither proposal stands little chance of passage, there were no Democrats in attendance today. That's the latest, Shannon. All right. It's a busy night. Doug McElway, glad you're here okay. with us. Thank you.